welcome students today we will discuss about active and passive voice right so what is an active voice when can we say that the sentence is in active voice here as a definition i have written when the verb speaks of its subject as active okay so what do we mean by this the subject as acting it means that subject is the doer subject is working okay now what is passive voice passive voice here the definition you can see when the verb speaks of its subject of being acted upon or something having done to it that means here subject is not the doer okay so object is considered to be the doer and something having done to the subject okay so how to formulate active voice now the formulation of active voice right construction of active voice it is a sentence generally it will begin with the subject then uh with the performer uh, that means it will be the performer of the action then the action word or the verb in its root form it will come after followed by the object so it will be the subject plus verb plus object right so here we can see the example it is lily writes a letter which are the important points lily right writes a letter here right that tense is simple present tense okay so you need to notice which tense the sentence belongs to because on the basis of that we will have to formulate the passive voice now how to formulate passive voice if we begin the sentence with the object or person that action is performed on here which is the object the action is performed on that is the letter okay and letter is singular or plural a letter it is singular so what will be the passive form a letter is written by lily what are the changes that i have made here a letter as usual i have placed it in the place of subject in the beginning of the sentence then is written by lily is that is i have conjugate verb to be right so verb to be why is is chosen because our sentence is in the simple present tense and why is because it is a singular okay it is singular in number then written that is in v3 form right write wrote and written then i have introduced by and at the end subject lily is placed right so a letter is written by lily that will be the passive form of the active sentence lily writes a letter another one here i like to give you one example if it is the uh, if it carry the sentence ca carries the sense of negation no one turned on the light in the passive voice it will be the light was not turned on right the negation i have introduced in between here was not turned on right okay now one more thing if the active sentence begins with no one or nobody the passive sentence will be negative right now another important thing that we cannot ignore while discussing active and passive voice that is transitive verb and intransitive verb transitive verb that example with example say birds fly right birds fly birds subject fly verb right subject and verb so if you question birds fly why 
where you won't get any answer for it. So there is no object, right? Object is missing here. So it is called intransitive verb. That means there is no object. And if I say Ram kicks the ball. So Ram kicks what? The ball. So subject plus verb plus object, right? So it is transitive. That means the sense moves from Ram to ball, okay? So for active voice and passive voice, that means one sentence when we change it from active voice to passive voice, it should have one transitive verb. Right? Without object, it is no way possible to change to passive voice. Okay. Next point. When we should use passive voice, that means normally which statement needs to be in passive. When we do not know the subject or when it is not important to know the subject. Right? We can ignore the subject. Say, Credit card is issued here. Right? Who issues? We need not to know. Right? Someone. Somebody. X, Y, Z. So, someone X, Y, Z issues credit card here. So, the our main motto is that credit card issues here. Who? That is ignorable. Right? <coughs> now, the final touch for how to formulate you will have to uh, keep it in mind that three steps or four steps mainly are important. Object will come in the beginning. Conjugate verb to be. Use the same tenses. Same tenses that is is. It refers to the same tense. Right? And main verb in the V3 or the past participle form. Right? Uh, say uh, another example the postman delivers the mail the postman delivers the mail here the mail will come first okay I will go with this point the mail I have written in the first place delivers means it is in simple present tense so is and delivered it is a v3 form right the mail is delivered by the postman right now how the active voice changes to passive voice as per the tenses. Okay, a quick look. Present simple tense, say, example, I do it. It is done. Past simple, I did it. It was done. Simple future, I will do it. It will be done. Present continuous tense, I am doing it. It is being done. Past continuous. I was doing it. It was being done. Okay. Here being plays very important role. Okay. Never forget. Future continuous. I will be doing it. It will being done. Okay. When there is sense of continuity, being will no, should be introduced. Present perfect. I have done it. It has been done. Past perfect. I had done it. It had been done. Right? Rest of whatever tenses remaining that, you know, uh, doesn't go for passive voice. Right? Now, some special cases. Say imperative. Imperative sentence. That means order or request. If it is hang him. Okay, so how this sentence which is in active voice gets changed in passive voice. It will be let, then the subject, then be and then the past participle form of verb. Hang him will change to let him be hanged. Right? Then interrogative. What is an interrogative sentence? Interrogative sentence means when it conveys the sense of interrogation, sense of questioning. 
who killed the snake what will be the form of a uh, passive that is by whom was the snake killed i placed by in the beginning then whom then this is uh, to be verb to be then the object and then the verb okay here another one someone stole the money it is another you know special case someone stole the money where you need not to mention the subject the money was stolen right because you don't know the subject who has stolen the money right object position here is insignificant right somebody pushed me i was pushed by whom i don't know or i don't want to mention right another case some sentences have both an object or a person that means two objects if present then uh, sometimes so we get confused say if it is someone handed me a note so here in the position of object we have two one is me another is note so you can write a note was handed to me by someone it is need not to be you can mention you may may not mention i was handed a note by someone right so in this two ways it can be changed other structures here infinitives infinitives few examples i am giving you so if the sentence comes in such a way so you should not get confused ever going to right infinitive say i am going to do it it is going to be done okay i have to do it it has to be done i used to do it it used to be done i can do it it could be done okay till here it ends many things still to discuss and we will discuss further now the last one before i conclude i like to uh, you know remind you about the mistakes often the students they commit changing in tenses it will change uh, to the same tense from active to passive right here mo most often the student they make a mistake then use verb to be right verb to be is a must that means here you can see is right i have introduced here you can see right every where it is very much needed in passive voice to introduce to be verb v3 form of verb here most often i have seen that the students they change it to v2 form of verb right so it is obvious that v3 and the last one plural and singular because the object gets changed that means the position you you are bringing the object to the subject's position by the time you need to be careful and you need to go with the number of the object in the passive voice whether it is plural then you go with the plural number and if it is singular you go with the singular number okay